Hey, I'm LionGamer1 and I welcome you to the first part of Let's Play Microsoft Flight Simulator X. I decided now to also make a Let's Play of Microsoft Flight Simulator X, where I only talk English and approximately every month I will upload a new flight of this Let's Play. So the flight we are doing today is the flight for May and then in the next month, so in June, we will do the next flight and so on and so on. So today we are flying from Frankfurt to Vienna, so from Germany to Austria. And the aircraft we are flying with today is an Airbus A320 from Lufthansa, a very great aircraft I think. And with this great aircraft we are here at Frankfurt Airport at gate Alpha 36 and at the moment the aircraft is at cold and dark state. But in just a few moments we will begin with start setting up the aircraft for departure. But before we do this I will quickly tell you the add-ons we are using on our flight today. So today we use the add-on Mega Airport Frankfurt and also the add-on Vienna X by Flight Temper. Then we use also the add-on Airbus X Extended and finally we also use the add-on Real Environment X Essentials Plus with Overdrive. So these are the add-ons we use on our flight today and now I would say let's go into the cockpit and we start setting up the aircraft for departure. So here we are now in the cockpit of the Airbus A320 and the first step is to go into the overhead panel and we switch on both batteries and after we have done this we go to ADIRS and set all three knobs to NAV and now it will take just a few moments and then the aircraft is localized or better to say then it's located so um, yeah the next step is then to switch on these displays here but before we do this I would say we go into the right we go to the right MCDU here and then to checklist and we activate the checklist and for the first checklist so the cockpit preparation checklist we also activate the co-pilot but for the checklists after the cockpit preparation checklist so the before start checklist and so on and so on we will switch the co-pilot off and everything which the co-pilot then would do we then do so for example we then start the APU or set the fasten seatbelt signs to on and so on and so on. Yeah. Now I would say we start the cockpit preparation checklist and okay, let's now start while they the both doing the cockpit checklist. preparation checklist we can switch on the both four displays on. so the PFD, ND, the upper and lower ECAM. So at first I would External say the PFD the on. primary flight display so it's this one here, then both the ND, off. the navigation display Check and as you can see both displays Check. are not really working is off. Um, Yeah, correctly, Check they are not position. really showing what we expect Check. but it will just Item. take a few moments until the aircraft is located Check. and then Standby. also these both displays will work correctly. So and now we switch on the Check. upper ECOM and here you can see that we have round about 8 tons of fuel for our flight today. So we will fly round about 300 to 400 nautic miles. I hope it's correct nautic miles. In German it's nautische Meilen. Ich, ho I, ich hoffe, I hope, uh, sorry for sometimes speaking German. I try to really only speak English. So, um, and I hope the English word for nautische Meilen is nautic miles. Yeah and round about 300 to 400 nautic miles we will fly Check. today. So for this we need round about 8 tons of fuel and here you can see that it now will take nearly 3 minutes until the aircraft is localized and then the PFD and the ND will also work. So and now at last we also switch on the lower ECAM and I would say the upper ECAM can be a little bit brighter so that looks good. Great and now we are finished with switching on the dis these displays and now we can go on with typing in the flight plan into the MCDU. So there we go to init and at first we, we press align IRS and the next step is to type in 
from to. So here by here at from there, the ESA AO code of Frankfurt Airport gets in, and to to there the ESA AO code from our airport where we fly to gets in. So the ESA AO code from the airport of okay. Vienna. So. I will quickly activate the key input so I can write everything with my keyboard, otherwise I would have to press the buttons at here. So f at first the ESA AO code of Frankfurt Airport, it's echo delta delta foxtrot, now slash, like here, and then Lima Oscar Whiskey Whiskey. It's the ESA AO code of Vienna Airport. So this comes into here and we press return. and fill in the other fields at here. So at first I would say we type in the flight number. So normally Lufthansa has Lima Hotel, so LH. But I don't know the number which Lufthansa uses for the flight from Frankfurt to Vienna. So I will type in any numbers. Let's say for numbers I will type in 8241. That looks good, great. And this comes in here. And now we type in the cost index. I normally always use 45, so this comes in here. And to cruising altitude for our flight today, I would say we can type in flight level 300. That's a good cruising altitude for the distance we fly today. So this comes in here, and you here you can also see the temperature at, at this altitude. At the moment it's minus 45 degrees, so it's very cold there in this high altitude so and so and now we go on with typing in the flight plan so we go to f plan so the short form for flight plan and at first we go to we press the button left to the ESA AO code of our origin so Frankfurt Airport and we choose departure and here we can see all runways um, of which at which we can depart here at Frankfurt Airport and I would say for today we can depart at runway 18 I think it's a good possibility because we start in direction to in I think it's called southbound I don't know is it southbound so we start um, south I don't know the English word. Oh. Let me shortly look it up. I don't know if I can find it in the dictionary. So southbound. It's yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> it's the right word. Um, yeah, southbound. So we can start southbound, and that's the best possibility because when you look from Frankfurt, then Vienna is in the south of Frankfurt so we start at runway 18 and now we have to choose the standard instrument departure so the short form for this is SID and um, the flight plan so the waypoints and uh, um, airways I got got from that route VAT route.net very great website where you can find lots of different flights and there you can there you can get the uh, waypoints and also the airways and the first waypoint on our flight today is Sierra Uniform Lima Uniform Sierra so we need to search for SID which is nearly the same so for S at the beginning so yeah here we have Sobra but we want Sulu, there it is. Sulu 7 left or Sulu, uh, no it's not left, it's Sulu 7 L or Sulu 7 S. I would say we take Sulu 7 L because then we can fly, we can climb a little bit longer distance before we have to make a turn. I can show you here, so as you see that both displays are working now. So when we choose Sulu 7 L, we can climb this distance so around about 15 nautic miles and then we have to turn left and when we choose Sulu 7S you see that we can only climb a short distance before we have to turn left so I think or what do we want to but I think no, it's not really big prob really big problem 
So yeah, let's take the shorter one. So and we do the left turn directly after the takeoff. So Sulu 7S, and then we press insert, and here we have the first waypoints. And now we go to the ESA AO code of our destination airport. So it's L O W W for Vienna Airport, and then we go to arrival. And here we choose how, which type of arrival and which runway we want to land on. So. Um, we want an ILS arrival at runway 34, here it is, and here you can also see the distance, the length of the runway, and it's round about 3.6 kilom kilometers long, so and we do an ILS approach at runway 34 at Vienna Airport, so we choose this, and now the star, so the last waypoint on our flight is Victor, Echo, November, Echo, November, so we look for something like this, there it is, Venon 2W, Venon 2W, so I hope I pronounced it correctly, <laughs> I don't know, so yeah, we choose this and insert it. Now we have to also type in some waypoints and uh, also airways, but only some, so about three, two to three, I think. So we go to Sulus and press the button left to it and we press then we go to Airways and now we type in the airway we want to go on after we flew over the waypoint Sulus. So and I put on the key input again so it's uniform Sulu 650 so and now the waypoint to which we want to until which we want to fly on this airway which is Victor Echo Mike Uniform Tango so and then we want to change to airway uniform Sulu 37 and fly on this airway until Bravo Uniform Delta Echo X-ray X-ray so and now the last way no, the last airway, so, is Uniform Sulu 205. And now there would be the waypoint Victor Echo November Echo November. Normally it's already in the flight plan, but I type it in again, so that's completed now. Um, and, but I think the waypoint Venon, which is already in the flight plan, is then overwritten, but if it's there twice, we can delete one of them. So, insert. No, I forgot to press. No, 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 no. But it's, I think, it's no problem. Yeah. Boot X and then, no. From, oh, no, what, I did, what did I do? What did I do? I want, oh, no, 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 I don't want Venon there. Oh, no. So, Venon. Delete the flight plan this flight plan this community. So I want to press go to Budex and the airway from there we want to fly is <coughs> so onto the mistake. But no problem. We put it in here again. U uniform Sulo two zero five and then to Venon. So like this. That looks good. Insert great. So here it is now. So there's a flight plan discontinuity. We quickly delete it. And the route we can look at when we are then up in the air. So because we have no <laughs> sorry for sometimes saying German words, but I really try to only I speak because we um, have to do some things here at the ground anymore because so the pushback and then taxiing to the runway and in the air there's more time so we can uh, look at our route we fly today and then so we can look where over Germany and where over Austria and other countries we fly today so yeah we can now close the MCDU and I would say we can proceed now with the next checklist so we switch the co-pilot off and here you can see what you have to do to start the next checklist and here you can see we have to close the doors now so I press shift plus 
E and now the main door here gets closed and here you can see the ground power so we go back to the cockpit so all right thank you there the flight attendants now told us that all passengers are on board and now we can go on with the before start checklist windows and doors closed and locked now we have to start the apu so first the master switch and then start now the bleed apu bleed on so now we can disconnect the external power because we get the current by the apu so external power is now off and we have to disconnect it also so return and ground services external power disconnected so now cabin signs we have to switch on the seatbelt signs parking brake must be set so you can press CTR CTRL plus point or all otherwise you can press here set on. at the parking brake switch bear reference you can press B and set then it's automatically one, set zero, to one, the one. actual one. bear reference one, one. Beacon, okay. beacon must be on now so there it is set on. All right, checklist is complete, and now we can go on with the pushback checklist. And uh, no, it's not a checklist. And other, w we can choose between we want a pushback or only the start of the engines. So today we need a pushback, so we press start push. And here you can see we can now type in the distance we want to be pushed back and the direction in which the aircraft should be changed, moved. Yeah. Um. No. No. no for this we shortly go into the bird perspective and here you, here you can see we want on this taxiway so it's a very short distance I think 15 meters should be okay and left turn 90 degrees we want so taxiway distance 15 meters so there we are now 15 meters I th it's very short but I think it should be enough and now direction left 90 degrees and then I would say we can start the pushback scenario scenario ATC clearance for push and start received so please confirm ground equipment and services are clear so now he um, removes the wheel chocks and also the traffic cons and plop they are away now so I think it's a thunderstorm Start push back. above the airport we can look while brake. we are taxiing then so please release parking brake yeah we released it parking brake released okay starting push back all right thank you now we have the clearance to start both engines and we will start with engine number two so we have to set the uh, switch to start and engine two to on and now you can see engine number two is starting so and yeah the aircraft is turned very early and you can see all vehicles which now want to pass the road here um, stop while we are here pushing back over the road and I think we have chosen a very good distance that looks great really that looks good because we are really close then to 